I suppose it's a lure of the water. We are all drawn to the sea. It took eight attempts, but in October 1927, Mercedes Gleitz became the first British woman to swim 21 miles across the English Channel. But her accolade was soon plunged into doubt when a rival claimed to have completed the same swim in the same week. Her battle to set the record straight is the focus of a new feature film called Vindication Swim, and the cast and crew were in Brighton today to witness a blue plaque being unveiled at the home where she was born. I was just captivated by how inspiring and, and you know how extraordinary she was. And part of it is the fact that you know it's this woman in the 1920s who just went out there and did this extraordinary thing at a time when women really you know they didn't have much opportunity, uh, and she went out there and defied all expectations and accomplished this incredible feat. So yeah, she was an incredible woman, and absolutely astonishing in the water and fearless. Nowadays, we want overnight success, and her story isn't a story of overnight success. It's, it's a story of perseverance and, and daring to do something no one else has done. And, and I always think that's inspiring whatever generation you're in. Mercedes learned to swim here in her hometown, but her love for the sport took her across the world. The swimmer became an icon of the 1920s, but her family knew very little of her achievements until she died in 1981. It's great for the family to get the recognition they deserve. The fact that they made a film about her achievement as well is wonderful. Um, and it just brings sort of family history to life. Gleitz's story has since inspired other female channel swimmers, like Christine Addison from Saltine. That's what you have to do, just enjoy it, and that's what she did, and had a little um, idea that she wanted to swim all the way across with some of the other ladies and be one of the first ones to go across, and it's just pure um, willpower and the love of the sea that gets you there, really. With a blue plaque, a film, and possibly even a statue in her honour, it's hoped Mercedes' achievements, which were once forgotten, will now be celebrated by generations to come. Charlotte Wilkins, ITV News, Brighton.